Welcome to Flagger Teacher. While developing an application, we may need to cast multiple devices to our PC or laptop. In this video, just in five simple steps, I'm going to explain not just to cast or mirror our phone, but how to control them from our laptop or PC. So without wasting time, let's get started. Now the first step is to download a tool called Scrappy and set path for it. For this, simply type Scrappy download in Google and hit the button. Open the first link that represents the GitHub website. Scroll down a bit and click on your platform. In my case, it's Windows. Then click on the zip file. For me, it's a 64-bit zip file. Once the file is downloaded, extract it to some proper folder. Copy the location of this folder and now it's time to set a path for this. Just press the Windows button and type path and click here. Then click on the environment variable. Then we have to come inside the system variables. Then click inside the path and click on the edit button. Then we have to click on the button called new and we have to paste the path that we have copied here and just click on the OK, OK and OK. Now step number two is to enable USB debugging in your phone and this has to be done from the developer options. Let's see how to do it. For this, we have to tap the settings icon in your phone. And from here, we have to scroll down at the end. We'll get option called systems. Tap on the system. Then we have to tap on the option called about phone. Then from this, we have to scroll down at the end. You'll get option called build number. Simply tap on this build number seven times. So as I'm already a developer, I'm getting a message you are a developer. Then click on the back button. Then we have option called the advanced. Simply tap on this advanced. Now you can see there's a new option called developers option. Then click on this developers option. We have to scroll down a little bit and you can see this option called USB debugging. Make sure that this USB debugging is turned on. Now the steps that I have explained in my phone might be different in your case based on the uh, phone variant that you have. Make sure that you have to enable the USB debugging in your all phones that you want to connect. Now it's step number three to connect your multiple phones to your laptop or PC. In my case, I'm going to explain this one by using two different phones. So let me connect my two different phones using the cable to my laptop. Make sure that when you connect your phone or when you're going to enable USB debugging, you might get a message like this. So you have to turn on always allow from this computer and click on the OK button. Now it's time for step number four. Just open the command prompt and type the command called ADB space devices. Hit the enter button. It will show you the list of devices connected in your laptop. Basically, it's a serial number of your phone. So from here, let me copy the first serial number. It's time for the step number five, and that's the last step, is to run this scrappy command with serial number. For this, simply write here scrappy space dash s and then space. Then we have to paste the serial number of our phone. Then hit the enter button, and you can see it has mirrored the phone through this scrappy. Simply go back to your first command prompt and simply copy the second serial number of your phone. Open another command prompt and we have to again type here scrappy space dash s then space we have to paste the second serial number of your phone and hit the enter button and now you can see it has mirrored the another phone here. Now uh, let me properly uh, organize my phone screens here. Now you can see we have successfully mirrored our phone using this scrappy. So it is not just a mirroring we can even control your phone from your laptop or PC. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.